The Kandiru, Vandelia cirrhosa, is a tiny catfish measuring just 3 to 5 cm in length. It is also known as the toothpick fish on account of its slender shape. A fish that can swim up a man's urethra, so don't pee in the Amazon River. In this video I will share with you 7 Amazing Fun Facts About The Kandiru Before we begin we published new videos daily. So be sure to subscribe this channel for the great content. Without daily let's start. This little fish's unsavory reputation stems from its vampire-like feeding habits. The Kandiru is a parasite of larger fish, feeding off the blood from their gills. Living in the murky waters of the Amazon River. It was said that the Kandiru relies on its sense of smell to home in its victim. However, it is now believed they hunt by sight. It will then stealthily swim alongside its victim waiting for the moment the larger fish opens its gills to breathe, at which point it darts in. Using its umbrella-like opercular spines on its head, the Kandiru fixes itself in position to feast on blood from the vessel-rich lining of the gills. Tales of Kandirus attacking people were first recorded in the scientific literature nearly 200 years ago. These were all second-hand accounts related by local tribes people to visiting explorer-slash-scientist types. The first reports were in the 1820s when it was noted that men from some tribes would tie string around their penis when going in the river. Other tribes used more extensive protective measures, although this could equally have been to prevent the nethers being nibbled by piranhas. The story goes that 23-year-old Silvio Barbosa was happily urinating into the Amazon River at Atacoasiera when he was attacked by a Kandiru. He describes how the fish swam straight up the stream of urine and entered his penis. Although he tried to grab the fish's tail as it entered it slipped away into his urethra. Barbosa was treated by urologist Dr. Anor Samad in a two-hour operation to remove the Kandiru which he filmed. The story of the penis fish has been believed by the natives of the Amazon for many centuries and has been proven to be true. It is interesting that herbal remedies by the natives have been effective. They believe that the hot tea from the jagua tree will soften the skeletal bones of the parasite and the hideous little monster will be expelled through the urine. This idea was scoffed at until urologist Eugenio Linz used a synthetic version of the tea to treat bladder incrustations. He found that it was effective. He believed that it might dissolve kidney stones. This was way back in 1943. A Navy surgeon Charles Ammerman operated on several different victims of the penis fish and removed the parasites back in the 1930s. He sliced open the bladder to remove them. Even if the story of the penis fish is considered fiction there are documented cases of it. People thought that the episode on Grey's Anatomy was fictitious where there was an unfortunate victim of this creepy little parasite. It was later proven to be true. Please hit like and subscribe our channel for more amazing content in the future.